Hi, so I had an idea, and it's called Company Card. Um, and the idea was that at my old company, our CFO would uh, slack everybody, like, because everyone, there were like two or three company credit cards, and they would get passed around depending on who needed them. And so the CFO would always be like, hey, who subscribed to Hulu? Uh, in September and everyone would be like not me not me and it would be like a whole thing and it would be hard to keep track of so um, I thought I could make it more um, like the data could be more trackable based on person and it could also be immediate so that if I needed um, money from the company to go get plates for an event I wouldn't have to like pay with it with my own money and then get reimbursed like three months later um, so I will log in as you guessed it, Obama. <laughs> and there may be some funny credit cards on his account because I've been playing with it a little bit. Um, but these are all of his cards that he's ever made. So he's an admin, obviously. And so he has a card that he's given to Elizabeth Gross, which is me, Dasha, which is my girlfriend, Becky, which is my dog, and some other um, <laughs> variations of those people. <laughs> um, and if you click on each card, you can see that there's a number. Like, theoretically, obviously, this doesn't actually work because I can't, ran I can't generate random credit card numbers that actually could buy things. That would be really cool. But um, it does. <laughs> what I did do is... <laughs> You could create a new card. So Obama, I said, oh, Obama, could you like get me a co company card because I have to buy, um, you know, some American flag pins for the team? <laughs> sure. Uh, how much do you need that for, Elizabeth? Because she doesn't have enough cards <laughs> in this app. Oh, fifty dollars. Okay, cool. So you can like submit right then, and the limit would be fifty and my card would be generated and I wanted to integrate with the MasterCard API um, but the website wouldn't um, cooperate with me so I ended up using uh, PayPal's API and again in theory uh, this could transfer from one account to another um, this amount of money so it's a random card that wouldn't work on a website but in theory you could this card could represent a transfer of money um, and you can see here this is the transaction that uh, PayPal generates, and the amount is for $50, and the customer first name is Elizabeth Gross. Uh, this was a little last minute, so I would have separated it as Elizabeth and Gross is the last name, but whatever, and I could have filled in a little more information and had the billing be like the White House and blah, blah, blah. So um, it would be easier to track, I don't want to close that, um, it would be easier to track uh, who did what. Um, and that, that's it. <laughs>